Do you need good sound for your video? How do the Zandesk to the rescue? This is a Synity Gear News video supported by B and H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Synity, and I'm here with Jared from Audio Design Desk. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm loving it out here. It's a, it's, it's it's exciting, you know. It's a, it's very nice here. It's been a great show so far. It's just been very exciting. Tons of people here. I mean, we're around so many cool booths. It's just uh, it's it's an incredible atmosphere. For those who don't know the company, tell me a little bit about. Audio Design Desk. So Audio Design Desk is a DAW that we built from the ground up using the modern advancements of AI to help us very quickly and efficiently place audio to video. As, and uh, as much as we love all of our other DAWs, uh, we just found that there were a few tedious processes throughout the, the process of adding sound to video, and we were able to use AI to just completely eliminate the tedium and speed up our process to roughly 10, 12 times faster than anything else. So it's only about treating the audio or it's also about sound effects or music? What exactly the, the, the core business yeah. here? It's, it's all audio. So any audio that you want to place to video, we have it. Uh, it's, it's about spotting the audio, getting it in there and finding that right to sound uh, as fast as possible. So an example would be like, uh, I have video editors and sound editors all the time are trying to look for that perfect rise to a hit. Uh, usually we're going through our own personal libraries or we're going to uh, libraries online and we're looking through sounds. We think we find it, we download it, we spend five minutes waiting for it to download. Once we add it into our project, we realize it doesn't fit with that video cue. And so we then we have to start over. So we're wasting 20, 30 minutes, if not just trying to get one sound. So Audio Design Desk is specifically here to help us place that sound refine that sounds and then move on to the next sounds in just a matter of seconds, saving us time everywhere. So some will say that it's only a library. Is it really just a library or there is more than a library in this software? Uh, so it is more than a library. It's a, it's a smart library. It's an AI powered library. So uh, essentially we created a sonic intelligence that knows the difference between sounds. So when it reads away, when you drag in a sound, it's not just a waveform. It says that's a drum kick or those are guys fighting or that's a snare hit. And in doing so, uh, it's able to read through our, li our massive library. It's currently like a little over 60,000 sounds, but we're adding to it every single week. So it's able to read through that library and quickly find the sound that you're looking for and place it there on the timeline for you. And how is the integration between the video part and the audio you're looking for? Do you have your own timeline or actually this is a plugin on a software you're already editing with? Yeah, so we do have our own timeline. It's totally standalone. You can use our, uh, our built-in video window here. But uh, we also have these new extensions we just uh, built that will be released with 2.0 where you can then completely integrate into Premiere or into DaVinci or into Final Cut, as well as you can completely sync to any existing DAW. So if you want to have us running next to Pro Tools or us next to Logic as well, you can do that just as easily. That sounds very interesting. But I want to say because at the end, I'm an independent filmmaker. I'm just gi giving a scenario here. Yeah. I'm not a big studio. I'm not doing Hollywood or Bollywood. Mm. And I just shot something. How, how difficult or easy it will be for me to literally start to work with your system? Uh, in incredibly simple. And in fact, this example is like the, uh, the ideal person. This is why we exist. Because there, there are so many video editors out there that are trying or kind of forced into having to do all the sound design themselves. So we made the system as intuitive as possible. If you want if you want that rise, all you have to do is press R and you have a rise. If you want that hit, you press H and you have a hit. All of our sounds are just mapped to single or uh, sometimes two button clicks. And then you can have that sound. As well as, and if you want to replace it, you just press Command R and you have an entirely new sound that stays in sync with all of your, uh, your markers and your original placements. Jared, I have to say, it, it sounds too good to be true. I mean, it sounds easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and that's also bring me to another question. Who is responsible to make it so easy? Is it you? Uh, yes, I, I, <laughs> I'm not going to take all the credit for that. The, 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 team, is, uh, the team is incredible here. Uh, our entire team is built up of uh, filmmakers, uh, creators, composers, uh, sound designers. And so uh, since we all were in this field already and we all uh, are very passionate about the product, we're able to just 
easily go through and create all these new features, as well as we have a ton of uh, users that we're always open for feedback from. We're very community driven. So uh, if they have ideas, they suggest it. And then that's when I come in, you know, I help uh, figure out exactly how we best implement those features, and as well as maybe mock up a few of my own. And uh, then we make sure that every user has every tool they could ever ask for when it comes to adding sound to video. So uh, this is Audio Design Desk. As I said, we are a standalone app, but for this demo, I'm just showing you how we are now integrated into Premiere with 2.0, as well as we have the DaVinci and Final Cut ones here. So Audio Design Desk is actually controlling the Premiere timeline and playing that for me. That means I can then quickly import all of the timeline sequence from Premiere into Audio Design Desk. And then we're just going to mute this track, and we're going to come back to that later. First thing we want to do is we want to start adding sounds very fast. So I want to add a hit out here with this transition. I can go to my triggers window, and then I can uh, open up my trigger pad. We're just going to say, I want to rise here. So I'm going to press R to get that rise. Or I want to transition out here. So I'm going to press transition. Or I want to hit over here, and about right there. So I press H, and I have that transition. We can listen to this. <laughs> Awesome. So we might love those sounds, but if we don't, we can always replace them. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is go to Replace Settings, and I'm going to select the genre. I'm going to say this is an action scene. This is a very intense action scene. And then when I replace these sounds, I now have an entirely new composition of audio that's specifically intense and action. So now that we have that sound design place, the next thing we want to do is Foley. Normally, it would take me about all day just to do the Foley in this uh, action scene here. But Audio Design Desk is assigned sound to triggers, so I can just perform and create all my Foley in real time by pressing the buttons. Great, and just like that, we were able to get all the Foley done for this scene. And then the last thing we want to do is we want to start adding some music to this. So I can mute everything real quick. We can press the Z key, and I now have full mix music cue, and I can play this, and I can replace it in real time. Uh, it's auditioning several music cues over and over to try to find the right one. Or I can create my own original score using our music construction kits. If I go to the music side, I say um, I want a beat, some percussion, and uh, maybe some bass. And then I can play this. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. Maybe we could just easily replace that as well. But uh, one thing I'm noticing is it's a little slow. I want this to be faster. So I'm going to turn on tempo stretching here, which is going to stretch all of these music cues to match my global BPM of 120. All right, and that is a much better score for this scene. So now we can unmute this and see all the sound we were able to create in just a couple seconds here. Awesome. Now, there's one last thing that we wanted to do. Before we send this into our other project, we have some dirty dialogue we need to clean. And uh, if we listen to it, Stand down, sir. We can hear how that dialogue was recorded with a lawnmower in the background. And we need to get that lawnmower out so we can use the dialogue. So we can go to our Isolator app here, where I can drag this file up into Isolator, select Noise Reduction. Then in Audio Design Desk, I can then split. Uh, it'll then create a track for us which I can then split open. And once we split this, we can hear that we have just our lawnmower sound as well as we now have our new clean dialogue track. Stand down, sir. Awesome. That is significantly cleaner than it was earlier. So we can go ahead and use that. And then the last thing I want to do before I export this back into Premiere or uh, to Pro Tools to do my final mix and master is I want to get uh, a set gain. Um, I want to get this all balanced out using our new auto mix fe features here. So I'm going to open up auto mix and then we can enter our target left standards and then audio design desk will automatically go through every individual region and balance them to that standard. So now that we have set that, we can now go into our extension. We'll export this right back into Premiere's timeline. Okay. And we have it right in here. We have all these sounds and we can just see everything came into Premiere that we can then just easily add right back into our video. So now we've created an entire temp pass. Maybe it'll even be the final pass that we can send back into, again, Pro Tools or Logic to do that final mix and master. Now, the tool itself uh -huh. is existing for quite some time, but right now, around the NAB time, you introduced 2.0 
framework update, let's call it. Yep. It's not a framework, sorry, it's a software update. Software, yeah. <laughs> I'm so much into cameras, look okay. what happened. <laughs> so this uh, up update, uh -huh. what does it bring to the table? Uh, it brings a lot. So uh, that connection to any NLE, such as like Premiere and DaVinci, that is uh, that is new to uh, 2.0 here. We also have a new auto mixing feature that's new to 2.0, where even if you've never mixed anything before, again, for that for that video editor who's uh, forced into sound design, they don't uh, really understand how to mix levels. It, Audio Design Desk will go through and mix every single region for you. Um, as well as we have uh, these new marketplaces we're opening up that's part of Maker AI. Maker AI as a whole is, uh, is a new addition to 2.0, where it's uh, a lot of the AI features that were built into Audio Design Desk. We, did, we figured out that people just want to use that as like its own standalone little function. So we broke them away from the software, and then we allow people to go to the website and use them, such as uh, Isolator which is a, it's a stem separation tool. It, it's uh, very similar to like the isotope ones that are already out there, but uh, we built our own because theirs are a little more meant for music uh, separation, but uh, we like ours to be more for like dialogue cleaning as well as being able to uh, work within scores of just uh, stripping out like just the percussion from a cinematic score and, and things like that. And this is connected to what we said before. Actually, we started our conversation yeah. talking about how loud it is around here. Yes. And how easy it should be to isolate our conversation yeah. with your tool. Yes, it's, it's incredibly easy. Uh, for, for the demo that I've been showing here, I, uh, I recorded a little dialogue take of me in front of a lawnmower. Uh, that was running and uh, it sounds really terrible uh, at first, but in uh, about three button clicks, we have completely stripped dialogue that sounds great with, uh, as well as we we have a lawnmower sound there. If we want to keep that in our library, why not <laughs> use every sound possible? Okay, great. Thank you very much. Really, really such a pleasure to talk to you because again, I'm, I'm coming from more from the visual aspect and, and audio is as equal if not more important when you do anything so it's nice to know that there's a tool that can really help uh, creators like us yeah. thank you very much All right, thank you guys thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you